Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back to Dane's Derelicts. Today uh, we're going to be working on part two of the uh, Pontiac brake rebuild. Um, the parts finally came in so I'm excited about that and uh, without further delay we're going to get going. Alrighty people I got some good news. Uh, I got a package today. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got. What could this be? Hmm. I don't know. Looks like uh, new old stock parts. New old stock parts. Huh. What could that be for? Oh, cool. Even the cardboard has metal on the hinges. That's how you know you got the original stuff here. Let's see if we get the box open one handed. Oh, oh, oh. What do we have here? Looks like a set of wheel seals. Yay! Hopefully fitting my 1931 Pontiac. Uh, came in much faster than expected, but um, very happy. Seals look good. I'll actually, um, ooh, they're felt seals. Uh, put a little oil on them, you know, just to get them softened up a little bit. Especially when stuff sits for that long. You really want to oil it up and um, get that moving a little bit more, especially leather seals. But um, I would order uh, new old stock a hundred times over anything made in China today. Alright, the first thing we're going to do, since the uh, brake drum is not cast and it's only mild steel, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of sandpaper here. Um, starting off with, uh, I'd say probably looks like an 80 grit. Uh, take down a lot of the really high uh, spots and the rust. I'm going to sand on that and I'll get back to you. And we are just about done with the uh, first step in the brake drum reconditioning process here. I went all the way around uh, with the 80 grit. You can see uh, cleaned up the rust quite a bit, but uh, we've got a lot of scratches to take care of. So I'm going to go around it again, probably uh, 150, uh, 180, take that down, and that should be good enough. You want a little bit of uh, texture on your drums, you know, just to give you some stopping, but uh, this is a little bit much. So we're going to switch uh, sandpaper, and I will bring you back again. All right, we are back again. I'm just finishing up with the... Uh, the 150 grit on the the drum and she is looking pretty darn good if I can say so myself um, you know a lot of guys you know really enjoy the hand sanding um, not really a big fan of that but I was thinking back to the old days you know you'd hear these guys you know eight ten coats of hand rub lacquer basically they'd shoot their car come out sand it all down and shoot it again and again and again so uh i give those guys a lot of credit as far as the brake drum goes um just pretty happy we got most of the major scratches out now the surface is all clean and i think we're going to move on to the bearings all right moving on to the bearings uh today on the show we have a special uh treat we have an old school uh, wheel bearing packer. Works great with needle bearings. And um, I'm going to try with the ball bearings. Uh, I got a 50-50 shot whether I get this thing in there right. It's either right or wrong. Basically, you put the bearing in the cup like this. Take this piece here. Screw that right down on top of it. It's very cold today. Um, probably... 25 30 degrees it's december in um massachusetts so everything's uh, a little little stiff i'm gonna try to set up my camera here if i can let's see if i can do this stay no okay all right so we get the camera set up Get the bearing in the thing. You come over, you grab your grease gun, and you plug it in. There's a little um, grease fitting down the bottom here. Plug that right in there. Like I say, it's pretty cold, so this grease is stiff. 
and just pump it out. Oh boy, that's really stiff. And you just keep squeezing and squeezing. And <laughs> I think my grease is frozen. This definitely works a lot better in uh, June and July than it does in the middle of December, I'll tell you that much. I think we're getting there, though. I think. Let me see what's going on here. Are we getting anywhere? slowly ah. well, it's pumping just the grease in the guns so cold it's not really pumping it through that well I don't know how much grease I actually have in my gun but we're getting there Should have probably brought the uh, <laughs> grease gun in the house, warm it up a little bit first. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, much heat here out in the old shop, so. Ah, there we go. There we go. It's all squeezing through the bearings. I'll bring you around here. You can see. See the grease uh, poking right out through there? That's good. Good. Took us a little while to get it going. But uh, that'll work out okay. Let's give it a couple more pumps there. And what I'll do is take it out. And put the grease gun down. I might bring that back in the house. Let it warm up, do the other ones. But then after you take it out of there. Nice and greasy. <laughs> How thick that crap is. Just kind of run it through. Make sure it's fully packed in there. Something like this. A lot of guys do the old hand trick. I do that too sometimes, but that was uh I did that a lot more before I had this handy uh bearing packer. So um <laughs> give me a second, I can't touch the camera. Ugh, covered in grease. Oh, man, I feel like Br'er Rabbit. All right. So we're going to put this back in the hole there, which is good. I'm going to um, take some of the, the grease I had in here. It was really, really thick. I'm just going to spread it all in there. You want to pack your bearings really well. Try to get all that grease in there. Who knows the last time this was done? I mean, the 31 Pontiac and probably been off the road since, <laughs> who knows, 1950s, anyways. All right, we got that pretty well greased. I'm going to clean up a little bit and grab my seal. All right, we are back. Um, just for comparison's sake, I'll show you. I ended up scoring some nice uh, new old stock seals. These are beautiful. I got a pair for the front. I'm going to order another pair for the back. Here's the original seal. Um, as you can tell, it's kind of smoked out. Um, the felt did its duty for a long time, but its time has passed. So we're going to install the new seal. I'm going to put it in basically the same way it came out. Um, the other seal facing this way so I'm gonna put that up there it's hard to do this with one hand then I'm gonna go get my um, where is it trusty rubber mallet oh, right over here and just kind of tap that in place all right 
we got that side all uh, packed in there, cleaned, and uh, ready to go. I'm going to flip the drum over and basically uh, repeat the process on this side. So we're coming back to our uh, good old bearing packer here. One of these days I'm going to get a better furnace in here, I think. I cleaned all the parts and put those aside. All right, that one's a smaller, uh, smaller race, so I don't think. Oh shoot! <laughs> Might end up packing in grease, just moving it around the. Yeah, you know what? I think this might work. All right, <laughs> pick up all the leftover grease. It was in my bearing packer. Stuff it in there. Uh, you know what? Yeah, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna recycle here. Oh, I'm gonna reuse all the grease that was in there. Pack that through the bearing. Just rub it in. Rubbing it all in into the bearing. You wanna when they say packing the bearings, they mean they you know put the grease inside the bearing. Don't just do a light coat around the outside. You know, you want that stuff to hold up, you know, for a couple hundred thousand miles or whatever. I'm going to grab a little more out of here. Yeah, it looks like it has uh, bolts. You could actually fasten that to the bench. <laughs> if I had enough bench space. I'm, uh, my bench space here is uh, really at a premium. But anyways, I just pack some more in there. And uh, we're doing pretty good here we're gonna um take this whole assembly out to the vehicle all right guys we are back on the vehicle uh we have our hub assembly here with our clean brake shoes it actually came out pretty nice i just kind of degreased them and you know cleaned everything oiled up the stuff that should be oily uh, we have our brake drum with new bearings greased packed and sealed ready to go um, what I'm going to do at this point, I brought the grease gun out here with me. I'm just going to throw a dab or two right in there. It's kind of tricky to do this one-handed, but put a little more on there just to be sure everything's well packed. You know, it's like that old uh, movie that greases the word. Um, I'm going to kind of pre-fit these on. Basically, what I mean is I'm going to put them on first. Oh, shoot. Ugh. And then uh, I'm going to adjust the uh, brake shoes and get them kind of snug. So here we go. Let's try to do this one hand and film it at the same time. is uh, definitely a bit of a challenge. Okay, that goes on there. I can tell you right now. Ugh. She's way too loose. Yeah, we're not even close. All right, so we're gonna take this back off carefully, trying not to drop our bearings in the dirt, even though everything's frozen right now. Uh, the joy of working up in the Great White North here. Not as bad as some folks, I'll say that. All right, the uh, little adjuster thing is over here. Bring in there. And I'm gonna adjust that with a screwdriver. Let's say it just kind of spins out a little bit. Kind of a neat idea. As that spins, it pushes the shoes out. So I'm gonna do a little bit here. And I will check it again, see where we're at. See it down there. Okay, and, uh, that's exactly what I didn't want to do. Uh, uh, all right, I'm going <laughs> to clean the dirt and crap out of this, and I'll get back to you. Okay, I got the bearings all cleaned up, back together, uh, repacked. It's kind of tight, but there's uh, no play, which is good. Um, neat feature 
of these cars. I noticed this uh, when I was taking it apart. There's this little window right here with the screw. You can take this out. I already pre-loosened it. I cleaned it up when I had the drum off. And it gives you access to the adjuster. Uh, when you line it up, right? Where is it? It's in there. I don't even see that or not. But anyways, it's a little window into the adjuster. Um, I broke down and actually brought, bought a proper brake adjusting tool. Uh, I think it was like 10 bucks or something. So I'm going to reach in there with the tool and uh, click this up until I get some tension on the wheel. And then uh, and the brake should be properly set. I like a little bit of drag. You know, not, not like where it's... But a little bit. Just a little bit of easy drag. And then you know your brakes are properly adjusted. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. And I'll get this adjusted. Three more to go. And that should be it for this part. But I will keep you guys posted. Probably uh, might do a part three on the, uh, on the back drums. Because they're going to be a little bit different. We're going to need a special puller for that and whatnot. And we'll see what's going on with those. But uh, thank you all for watching. And please like, subscribe, and uh, comment if you have anything. You know, let me know what you think, what you'd like to see. I do have a 1931 Model A hot rod truck I'm working on. That's going to be featured in upcoming videos, so please stay tuned. Thank you.